Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to Connie's Cooking Channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Today we are going to make a deviled egg pasta salad. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button below and the bell next to it so you'll be notified on my next video upload. Let's take a quick look at our ingredients for this deviled egg pasta salad. We will need macaroni pasta, paprika, Dijon mustard, sea salt, chives, green onions, better known as scallions, celery, red onion, boiled eggs, Greek yogurt, and also mayo. So without further ado, let's get this party started. So the first thing we're gonna do, of course, turn our fire on high. And I have the water in there. I'm only gonna use half this box. I'm gonna add some salt in there and a little vegetable oil. And I'm gonna let that water come to a boil. And while that water is coming to a boil, we're gonna come over here and put our eggs into our air fryer. Gentlemen, I did add some more eggs inside of my air fryer. So I have six in total. I'm gonna place those in there gently so they won't crack. Now, normally I will preset my um, my air fryer. I'm not gonna preset it today. The lowest it will go is 300. So I'm gonna set this for, let's do 13 minutes. So once this is done, I'm going to set them in icy cold water to bring down the temperature. Top up our veggies here. Now I did already rinse these off, ladies and gentlemen. So do not be alarmed. I'm gonna slice these very thin. Why? Because we don't want to bite into chunks of celery, right? Not in our salad. We're just cutting this very small, ladies and gentlemen. I turned this so you can actually see. So hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Now, if that air fryer does not do my eggs correctly, we're gonna do the old fashioned way and put them on the stove, ladies and gentlemen. Where there is a will, there is a way. <laughs> Let's put our celery in there. And then we'll place our noodles into our hot pot over here that's boiling. So we can get that going. We want everything to come together at one time. So like I said, I'm only gonna use half this box of noodles. Now remember I did add salt and oil in there. Now we definitely want these to be done, not mushy, okay, ladies and gentlemen, but not to the point that you're making macaroni and cheese and still gonna be baked off in the oven. So have some firmness to it, but not mushy, okay? Set that aside, cover it. Now, I don't use that bottom part, ladies and gentlemen. I know I possibly could, but I don't. And I normally take off the tips just to let you know that's how I do it. But I do like green onions, so this is just gonna be for decoration. Or you can say garnish. If you wanna use more, you may. If you wanna use less, you may. We're using chives, which is part of the onion family, quote unquote, as well. So we're gonna have a nice little bite to this double egg pasta salad. I know, I know what y'all want me to do, right? Y'all want me to go like this. <laughs> sometimes I will, sometimes I won't. And now we're ready to do our onion. There are many ways you can do your onions, ladies and gentlemen. I normally, kill my onion. I know, everyone does it differently. This is how I'm gonna do mine, ladies and gentlemen. 
just gonna slice this in half, but we're not gonna use this whole entire onion, ladies and gentlemen, okay? And then I do like to rinse my onion off, so give me one second. This red onion is gonna give it a nice taste, ladies. Okay, our eggs have stopped over there in the air fryer, so we are gonna set them in some ice cold water. Okay, got the pasta stirred. We'll be finished chopping up our onion while our eggs are cooling down. We definitely don't want hot eggs into our salad. I will be um, doing my detox again, okay? So I will not be posting videos for 10 days in a row. Um, I will say last time I was trying to do it on a daily basis. This time I am going to show you day by day in one video my smoothies. So you will uh, be able to make the smoothies if you want to. And my goal is to lose between 10 to 15 pounds. I don't make resolutions at the beginning of the year saying I'm going to lose weight. I just do a detox. And to me, I think with all the food that we eat, and I eat a lot of junk food, y'all just don't see me eating. <laughs> I eat a ton of junk food, ladies and gentlemen, okay? But um, ever since I've been in the military, my weight has gone up and down. So now I'm back to, you know, I, call, I don't like calling it a diet. And I don't really know if it's detox is a good word, but to me, it's a substitute for me to clean my body, eat healthier, and at the same time, lose weight. So actually, that's what I plan to do in this upcoming days here. So I will try to like post a salad or two in between, but nothing major, no heavy cooking for me. And then we're gonna go back over to our keto thereafter because that does work for me as well. So if y'all looking to lose a couple of inches, pounds, eat healthier, detox, clean your body out, y'all stay tuned for the next couple of videos because that's what we're gonna be doing. We will be focusing on eating healthier. Okay, let's take a look at our noodles. About like that, ladies and gentlemen. And I do have the larger elbow macaronis, not the small ones. So what I normally do is drain this into a strainer and add cold water. So that's what I'm going to do next. Our first time using the air fryer for our boiled egg. You see it's sitting in icy cold water. Okay. If you can crack it and the shell comes directly off, then you have a winner. Let you see the inside of it right now. So that's the inside of it, ladies and gentlemen. It's done. So I'm gonna peel the rest of these eggs and I'll come right back to you. and We'll go to the next step. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do another video on just boiled eggs in the air fryer, ladies and gentlemen. Maybe I'll do that later on this week to show you exactly if you have the Ninja Air Fryer, exactly how long it takes to um, boil an egg in there. But I do like how they turned out. Alrighty, let me clean up this area. Our noodles are there, or our pasta. We're gonna add in our mayo and Greek yogurt. And y'all know, I will leave all these measurements below. Keep in mind that I'm making a small dish. If you're gonna make a larger dish, just double up on the recipe, ladies and gentlemen, okay? And you shouldn't have a problem. I'm gonna add some sea salt. I thought it was open, just a tad bit. You know, we need to make sure we had some type of flavor to those noodles other than onions, right? Paprika.
Dijon mustard. Toss in our celery. So I'm gonna add some chives in here. Yeah, a little bit more, sounds good. Let's give this a mix here, get it going. Now we just want to toss the noodles. We don't want to mash the noodles in this mixture, ladies and gentlemen. Remember, we don't want any mushy noodles. Now I may come back to add some more mayo, but we're gonna start with what we have. I'm gonna toss in the eggs and the onions. Tad bit of green onions. Give it a nice kick. This is gonna be delicious. Now we're just gonna stir this together until we get the right consistency. If we need to add more mayo, we will do that. But right now, I think we may have enough. May have to add about another tablespoon, but we'll see. And I think I will get another tablespoon or more. Now, if y'all been watching my channel for a while, y'all know I kind don't of use mayo. I use Miracle Whip. <laughs> And I know y'all up there saying, oh, it's different. Okay, whatever. <laughs> if you want to use mayo, y'all go ahead and use mayo. I grew up with Miracle Whip, and I will continue to use Miracle Whip. Now, if I'm having a hamburger hot dog, and I want to put some mayo on it, I wouldn't mind. But when it comes to making my salads, for the most part, you're going to find Miracle Whip in my pantry or in my refrigerator. Very seldom do you find mayo in my closet or pantry or refrigerator sorry <laughs> oh habits are hard to break they say <laughs> well this is our finished doubled egg pasta salad does it not look delicious I am excited to make this recipe for you guys. I'll leave all the ingredients below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Share the video with your friends and family. Share, 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 share. We're almost to our next milestone of 3,000 subscribers. We're almost there, ladies and gentlemen. We can do it. If you have not done so already, leave a comment below. Hit the subscribe button and the bell next to it so you'll be notified on my next video upload. So y'all ready to get a bite of this? Y'all ready? All right, let me plate it up and I'll be right back. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I made me a small dish here. Y'all know me, I have to get me some pepper. So I'm gonna bring this closer so you can actually see how it looks. See that how the eggs turned out from the air fryer. I'm still gonna do a video, ladies and gentlemen on the correct temperature to use for the air fryer. I think 10 minutes should be sufficient. Let me grab a fork. Let me zoom in for you so you can actually see this delicious double egg salad. Y'all get a bite? Y'all want a bite? Hold on one second. That may be too much for you, huh? <laughs> I'm doing left handy, guys. I'm trying my best. Can y'all get a bite? I'm going to taste it for you. Oh, my goodness, y'all. 
Y'all must try this recipe. I kid you not. You're gonna love it for your barbecues, your grill days, during the week, something quick and easy to make. This is a delicious salad recipe. I kid you not. So again, thank you for watching. God bless you. I will see you in the next video. Y'all have a blessed day.